morning preps. And as I said this morning in reading, I said, we're going to be doing this story again in writing. Now, you would have done a wonderful beginning of your story and drawn your wonderful blackbirds and the setting and the main character. We're going to have a look at the words and the text of the beginning of the story in the original book because we're going to be using that to write our own story which I'm very excited about. And I always love to see the prep books when they're finished and they get to read them to their family and hopefully read them to us at school, Mrs Mac. Oh, yeah. Now, this is the story of how the birds got their colours. So that is the beginning of the story. It's sort of explaining to you what the story is about. Let's go from here. Oh, sorry, perhaps that was a bit wonky. Long, long ago in the dream time when the land and animals were being made. So we might think, or it might be a good thing to think that this might be a good way to start your story. And we've got some sentence starters up here. And one of them says long ago. And the other one says in the dream time. And they're two different ways that you could start your story. So you might start with just long ago, or you might start long ago in the dream time, or you could start in the dream time. Now notice here in the book and up on the board, dream time starts with a capital D because it was a place and a happening. So it does have a capital letter, which normally you wouldn't have in the middle of a sentence. So we need to just remember that. So you might like to start your story that way. We'll read a little bit more and then we'll go over and start our writing. All the birds were black, all one colour, till, because this is still the beginning of our story and we're meeting the main character, one day a little dove flew around looking for food. He flew down to the ground to catch a big juicy grub. And there's that grub and there's dove. So let's go over to the table. I'm going to take this over with me because I'm going to use that to help me start my story. Let's go over and let's see how we can start our story. Now, this is what we did this morning in reading. And look, I finished it off, perhaps I told you I would. There's our dove. We've labelled dove, sun, black birds. Oh, I think we'll need that. Dream time. Oh, we'll have to put a capital letter on that, won't we, Mrs. Mack? <laughs> and grub. But I thought it might be start nice to start with long ago. And you could start with that too. Or if you want to, you could start long ago in the dream time. Or this story is about the dream time. It's up for you to start in. All right, so I'm going to start off with long ago. And I think I'm going to write all the birds were black. Because that's a part of and they are the characters the birds are the characters now all is on our word wall which where is is it on the word oh wall it's not but i can show there. you up here it's a little bit like the word ball, ball. so it's the a making the or sound. sound yeah so it's a tricky one so all is starts with an a making that all and you all know the word the the and birds we know because it's on the thrust chart and we can all, check our label too. Oh, well, we did it up there, didn't All the birds were... Now, you might have to ask an adult Yeah, because were is a tricky one. Were black. And we worked out black this morning. All the birds were black. Full stop. Ooh. That's my first sentence. What a great sentence. That's a great start. Long ago, all the birds were black. Now, you might like to go long, long ago in the dream time. All the birds were one colour, all were black. It's up to you to decide how much writing you want to do because we do have this side as well and it's your story. Now, I'm just showing you how to do this because I think all preps could do this much, couldn't they, Mrs? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So, long ago, all the birds were black. Then, dove flew down to the ground. Ooh, that's a tricky one. Ooh. Ooh. Dove came down. That might be easier. Or, or dove, dove looked. Looked could be. Let's have a look. Dove, it's the start of a sentence. Now we've already written dove here. Dove looked. Looked. Oh, it's got that. Oh, and then the ED is making the t sound. Looked for food. 
Mm. Food. Mm. No, it's got a f something's making the ooh sound, and mm. I think again on the thrust chart. Let's go to moon. Yeah. Ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Yeah. What is it in moon? Oh, two O's, an O two digraph O's. there. So I put the two O's in. Dove looked for food, and there's a full stop there. Okay, now we don't want to write about him hurting his foot yet because no. that actually happens in the middle. That's the problem. So we really want to introduce the setting, which is the long ago or the dream time. And we wanted to introduce the main character. So we've talked about birds and then we've talked about dove because dove is the main character. So there we go. We've got the beginning of our story. Long ago, all the birds were black. Dove looked for food. I love how you reread it too because good writers always Always do that to make sure that it makes sense. Mm. Now, if you wanted to write little dove, went down looking for food and he saw a juicy grub, you could do that too if you wanted to try and write that, if you wanted that challenge. But again, we're saying we think all preps can do this. Two sentences. Two sentences, definitely. I think some preps could mm. do more. Oh, they could. Mm. They could describe. They could even talk about some of the colours. Yeah. Long, long ago in the red dream time. Or... They could even say things like the sky was red, even yes. though it wasn't written in the book. No. But we you know could it. easily do that in here. So this is just the beginning. Keep this safe. Don't put this somewhere where you're going to lose it because eventually after next week when you do the middle of the story, you're going to write the middle on the next page and then you're going to write and then you'll have a book you get to staple it and read it and it's so much fun. So put this in a special place, okay? We will be using it over the next few weeks. Okay, perhaps I hope you enjoy writing today. Bye-bye.